Tower gardens are a really great way to grow hydroponically with no soil in your home if you don't have a lot of space to garden, but you still want to grow a lot of plants and perhaps you don't have a green thumb and you've heard that they're easy to grow in. Truth be told, they are pretty easy to grow in, but there are a few things you definitely need to know about hydroponic gardening in particular before you just tackle a tower garden. Luckily, if you're just stepping into tower gardens or hydroponics in general, then you're in the right place. Welcome. I have a ton of videos on this channel to help people figure out the basics of hydroponics and tower gardens. I also have humblegrowthhydroponics.com where you'll find a lot of free guides. There's some paid guides and some paid courses over there too if you wanna take things to the next level. But today I'm gonna to answer the question, what are tower gardens and what are you gonna to need to know if you decide to get one? It is true, I do have a little bit of a bias or a lot of bit of a bias when it comes to tower gardens because the flex unit from Tower Garden has been the industry leader for about 15 years now, and for good reason. They patented everything about this Tower Garden when they made it, and other companies have tried their best to duplicate it and replicate this one, but, but nothing's really ticked all the boxes the way the Tower Garden Flex has. So if you're looking for a Tower Garden, I do recommend this one for beginners or experts. It's just a really great Tower Garden to grow out of. You can watch this video for more information about why. So not only are tower gardens a fantastic way to save space, you can grow 20 plus plants in such a small footprint. For example, this is my garden that's inside right now. My indoor garden is an eight foot by four foot cage that I made. And as you can see, it's just totally filling it out, but it only takes about half that cage. I could still fit another tower garden in here and let it go crazy. Just like I'm letting this one go crazy with all these huge fruiting plants. This one is going to be just an absolute jungle back here pretty soon. Make sure you subscribe for that. The other advantage of tower gardens is they are hydroponic. So not only do we not bring soil into our house, and because of that, it significantly lowers the chance of pests and diseases, but also we get to enjoy the accelerated aeroponic growth that you're gonna get because the roots are suspended in air in tower gardens and they are delivered the nutrients and the water through just small droplets of water that happen a few times every hour. It's because these roots receive more oxygen that respiration is increased, thus allowing the plants to just grow bigger and faster than your typical soil garden would. People are finally starting to realize that it's kind of a no brainer. And a lot of people are even choosing tower gardens over soil gardens because of all these advantages. Now, what do you need to know if you're thinking about getting a tower garden? You'll definitely need to have a little bit of hydroponic knowledge. It really isn't much more knowledge than you would need if you were to go out and buy a freshwater fish tank and start trying to raise some fish. So don't get too discouraged by how much information you're gonna need. It's really not that bad. The most critical thing you're going to need to be able to do is look at a screen and understand what the numbers mean. What I mean by that is you're gonna be measuring your pH and you're gonna be measuring your EC or your nutrients. I guess is another way to say that. It stands for electrical conductivity, but what we're really measuring is the amount of nutrients in the water. And the pH is, is measuring the potential for hydrogen in the water. And we wanna keep that right around 6.0 generally in our tower gardens. This is an area where people mess up a lot as beginner tower gardeners. They don't bother to adjust the pH. And a lot of times it's because they use tap water and it's going alkaline a lot. I just made this video about that. But just know that monitoring and adjusting your pH, uh, I would say almost daily for the first couple weeks is a really critical part of starting a good successful tower garden. You will also need to know how to measure your EC which is your nutrients. I have guides up all about measuring your nutrients and videos about measuring your nutrients and the tools you're gonna to need for that too. So use those resources and get familiar with checking and topping off your tower garden. The limitations of the tower garden are going to come down to its physical capabilities. Uh, you can't really grow root vegetables in a tower garden because we can't really get the vegetable out of the tower garden and trees are just gonna to get too large to grow in something like this. Eventually, it would probably pull the whole garden over with the tree or the stem would just get too large for the net cup and that would become a whole issue. So you can grow a ton of different plants in this. Tower gardens are really cool. And one of the things that I'm trying to show on this channel are that there are no limitations other than like root vegetables and trees in your tower garden. So don't hold back. I'm growing three different tomato plants. I'm growing cucumber, butternut squash, snap peas, string beans, watermelon, as well as my herbs and my kale, all on the same tower garden here because they all like that 6.0 pH. Now, the negative side of tower garden, they're pretty bright. You don't want this in your living room right next to your TV. They also can get a little noisy. I actually had to stop 
this video because the power garden kicked on and it sounded like a fountain behind me. So I had to run back and turn that off. Other than that, and a bit of the learning curve, if you don't know much about hydroponics, that's really the only drawbacks of the tower garden. As a bonus for this video, if you buy a tower garden through the link I have down below, I'm gonna send you uh, my Master Your Tower Garden 14 part course, which breaks down everything you need to know to grow in your tower garden for free. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope that deal can help you out. If you're in the market for a tower garden, let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions or comments. And until the next video, let's grow together.